like with uh, Warriors on the Water, which is our service, uh, men and women, and I tell you what a great program. And you know, it makes me proud to be with Lou's myself, just because they support this program so awesome. I mean, we've already given away over 1,200 rod and reels to to veterans and, and people, uh, guys and ladies in the service, and you know for. It impresses them. I mean, that, to be able to get a rod and reel and, and make, you know, cast like the loose uh, stuff does, it, it's pretty incredible. And everybody was really appreciative the other night. Uh, but man, what a great program and what a great event. Left, right, right, left, right, left. Go left. Richard, on behalf of Warriors on the Water, I'd like to present you the flag that was flown in Afghanistan as well. Lewis is awful proud to be a sponsor and affiliated with this organization. It's, you know, giving back to you, uh, which really makes us proud to be affiliated with, in addition to working with them very closely. So thank you. I uh, wish you all the best of luck, those of you fishing more. Thank you once again for all you do. Oh, we got to win. That's what the expectation is. <laughs> I never say that. <laughs> just want to be in the top ten. Yeah, you? there you go. The top ten is a win. Yep. Having fun. That's actually the number one yeah. thing here is have fun. So it'll be a great day. We're here every second year going to visit all the American boys. We have the great Fort Bragg, North Carolina, which is the Air Force. And the 82nd Air Force Division is America's Guard of Honor. On behalf of our commanding general, Major General Richard D. Clark, and our command sergeant major, Command Sergeant Major Michael Green. And on behalf of over 18,000 highly motivated and always highly dedicated paratroopers, we just like to say what an honor and a privilege it is to be here to stay for all of you today. Before we begin, please keep in mind that these paratroopers you see here standing before you today are not only talented singers, but they are first and foremost highly skilled and highly disciplined paratroopers that do represent most of the major units we have. We're here in North Carolina for Warriors on the Water, and we're so proud to be associated with this event. And we're equally proud to be associated with sponsors who support these type of events, like the folks from Lou's. We were in Beaver Lake last week for the FLW tour, and when I got to registration for this event, first folks I run into are the folks from Lou's, and, and they're here supporting with their American Hero program. And, and what, what great partners um, for FLW, but, but what great supporters and, and partners in this industry. During this trip, we've been to Fort Bragg, and we have got to tour and, and see what uh, things that I never knew was going on. And to just to be a little bitty, tiny part of this is tremendous. Well, <laughs> There's going to be a lot going on. What yeah. if you can count? 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. <laughs> <laughs> Good was jumping out. It's just repo. <laughs> yeah. It's like something you don't have control. It's like riding on the back of a motorcycle yeah. with somebody. <laughs> My first time to do it, I was there. Was that your first time? You done it? This is the first time. First time? That's fun. So, what's the cameras on your head for? Night vision. Yeah, it's a night vision device. Oh, really? For selfies. Huh? <laughs> selfies. <laughs> So does that bring no, everything in closer, or zoom in, or what? No, it doesn't have anything it's on a, it. Six and a half well, these, the 20 Bravos, are night, night vision, and then they're uh, thermal. Do you see it through your glasses, or? No, well, no, they come down. So, oh, okay. Yeah, so it's a swivel mouth that. Oh, okay. Like, so you got, like, optic, obviously. Man, that'd be the trick for good deer hunting. <laughs> right? Uh, Major Aaron Creech from Hartsville, South Carolina. 
Yeah, she has uh, actually has a Lose American Hero, the ones that we give them uh, at the uh, pre-tournament meeting. But man, it's really light and it throws really good. Yeah, that's that's a it's a great outfit, and uh, so you've caught the big one. I did. <laughs> that always happens to me. If I take my son or my daughter, they're always either going to catch the most or the biggest. It never fails. So far, <laughs> so far it's been both for this boat. Well, good. <laughs> I think this this is the biggest one. You think it's the biggest one? <laughs> oh, yeah. They're, as you can see, they can not only protect our country, but they can fish too. <laughs> Bubs had never fished before with tournaments. Mm -hmm. And he he got deployed and was calling back. He was writing back and forth to Randy Yarnell, so he, he picked him. Randy is one of the guys that comes all the way from Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. And so they they kept in touch through email. Next thing you know, Jake is, is fishing tournaments all over because of Warriors on the Water. Had never right. done it before. And he's from Washington State. Yeah. <laughs> so y'all got a limit then. We do. I bought this one and it's been a... Was it's that the space good. bowl? Yeah. Oh yeah. This is a very good. Is that the, is that the, yeah? That's a BB one. That's the furthest casting reel made. I love this thing. Yeah, you can throw a mile. And I fish I fish uh, Lake Okeechobee a lot. It's good for pitching and yeah. flipping and all. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Did you notice when we was over there? He had his old deck full of Shimano's, but he was throwing his new loose BB one. He said it's the best reel on his deck. <laughs> I thought that was pretty impressive. <laughs> So has fishing been pretty good for you? Well, by my standards, yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> We've only got one, but we caught... I caught... Well, I caught one. It was too small. Caught another one, but uh, it got away. Oh, did it. Oh, well. Catfish. Then we got another one that was too small, and then I caught a little white bass. Oh, did ya? Mm -hmm. I caught. Mm-hmm. I see you got a good rod and reel in your hand. I do. Yep. We made that, uh, they make that especially for y'all. I was noticing that. I see that it's a American Hero. Yeah. And it's working, works, working really well for me. <laughs> well, that's good. That's good. Can, uh, do you fish regularly or? I don't. This is my first time. Is it really? Mm -hmm. Great. What, uh, what do you do at Bragg? Um, I'm actually a flight medic in the Air Force. Oh, okay. So, so Great. Yeah, we pretty much, we transport patients on the aircraft. Mm. Man, I mean, you do better than people that fish every day. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Tony Stout. Uh, I'm an Air Force member here at uh, Fort Bragg, Pope uh, Army Airfield. And uh, uh, it, we had a great time today uh, at the Warriors on the Water uh, 2016. And this year, we had everything. Sun and rain, we fished in the rain, fished in the sun. We had a great time. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm Sergeant Travis Finkel, um, the U.S. Army. Uh, I'm a medic, um, and today uh, we went out on the lake and we caught uh, caught five or six fish. Uh, we had a, had a real had a blast. Uh, we ended up bringing in uh, one fish that we could keep. It was uh, five pounds six ounces, and so I was using the uh, the American Hero combo rod uh, when I caught the uh, caught the big fish that we held for for some thirty fish, and it was absolutely awesome. Ed, 
appreciate it. Thanks for coming out. Thank you, did you ever did you ever think at the beginning of the day that you were going to finish in first place? Absolutely, we came here to win. That's what I'm talking about. He said he came here to win.